Zebra operation, traffic unit ticket 38 violators. Yes, we're going to talk about the traffic operation underway. And GoJet promotes authentic Bali tourism. MDA reminds of traditional village rules. What's all that about? Stay tuned for details on these and other stories. Selamat siang. Welcome to the latest news from Bali, Indonesia. This is October 19th, 2024. I had to think about the year. And my name is Bruce. And we've got a lot of stuff to do today. And first, we're going to talk about the traffic situation because there have been reports in the news from the different regencies about how many people they've stopped and what's been going on. And so I've just picked one story about one regency and let's take a look at that first zebra operation traffic unit tickets 38 violators the educational and enforcement activities in the framework of operation zebra agung 2024 held by the jim Brana police starting on the 14th are still being intensified in the three days of implementation until thursday the police had prosecuted 38 traffic violators the enforcement in the form of a ticket sanction was issued for several types of violations that have the potential to cause accidents, such as going against the flow, of course done here all the time, not wearing a helmet and non-standard vehicle equipment. We take action against dangerous violations, such as going against the flow or violating traffic signs, according to the head of the traffic unit of Jembrana Police. In addition to the action, he admitted that he also made various accident prevention efforts, such as holding counseling activities, or socialization by going directly into the streets, as was carried out the other day on Jalan Nura Rai in Jimbrana. A number of police were deployed to provide an appeal with a loudspeaker. In the activity, pamphlets were also distributed on the street, including free helmets. The free helmets were given to motorcyclists who were known to have obeyed the rules, but the helmets were not up to standard or were already dull. Wow. That's nice. I want a free helmet. He explained that similar activities will continue to be carried out during Operation Zebra, which lasts until the 27th. Officers hope that through this operation, public awareness of the importance of orderly traffic will increase so that the number of traffic accidents can be reduced. He said during the three days of the operation, there had been no accidents so far. He said, we hope that the traffic accidents in the future can be reduced through public awareness to obey traffic rules. And I think we all want that, but is that going to happen? I don't know. Um, thinking positively, yeah, it's going to get better. Thinking more realistically, when these things stop, people usually go back to their usual ways. But I hope this does result in less traffic accidents and especially in traffic deaths. Okay, next, Gojek promises authentic Bali tourism. MDA reminds of traditional village rules. What does the word authentic, that is, that was the Gen Z or the millennials use authentic all the time? I'm not sure what authentic means. Aren't all of the villages in Bali authentic? Anyway, PT Go to Gojek Tokopedia promotes travel services to a number of original or authentic tourist destinations in Bali. The service titled Rajeg Bali offers the convenience of ordering travel to a number of original Bali tourist destinations starting from the airport. What we are currently promoting is tourism to authentic objects according to the district head of Bali Gojek. He said the Rajeg Bali program can be ordered from anywhere in Bali with the GoCar service. For customers who travel by plane and want to visit authentic Bali tourist attractions, they can use Go Bandara service. This service serves authentic tourist destinations with electric cars. The form is a voucher that can be used by customers after landing at the airport. Currently, Go Bandara with electric cars is only available at the Bali airport. There are 25 electric cars operating at the airport. He said there are five or more tourist destinations in Bali that are still original. What? Among them, a number of restaurants, temples, and tourist attractions that still have an original Bali feel. There are also several original Bali tourist attractions that are planned to be collaborated with. We will move on to which tourist attractions we can collaborate with, he said. Patadu Bandesa Agung for Cooperation, Information, Innovation, and Data Management, Bali Province Traditional Village Council, appreciated the Rajik Bali Tourism Travel Service. He reminded tourists to use the service to continue to obey the rules 
of the traditional villages. Don't let there be things outside the rules that are important for the community. For example, there are regulations in one place or a destination. There are rules and regulations that need to be followed. He hopes that the original tourist attractions of Bali are promoted without violating local customary rules and are not overexploited. In addition, he hopes that the Gojek services can become accessible to the digital economy for local residents. 1,500 traditional villages are very interesting to promote. All traditional villages in Bali have their own appeal, he said. So we support it as long as it is positive for traditional villages and the development of new economic sources in traditional villages. Hmm. So possibility to get an electric vehicle from the airport and then what, go to tourist destinations? Do you go to your hotel first? I'm not sure exactly how that works out, but that may be something people want to do when they get here. So one more option for people coming in. And what about the fires in Mount Agung? Under control. Bali BPBD says fire on Mount Agung slopes under control. Bali Regional Disaster Management Agency stated that forest fires on the slopes of Mount Agung have been controlled. The head of Bali BPBD he did, my day rent and said the hotspots are no longer visible. He said as of Wednesday, two days ago, there were no more fire points. Only thin smoke was visible from several tree branches that had been burned. Bakarenten added reports from Basaki volunteers showed that the burnt bushes were relatively gone, so the potential for fire to reappear and spread was very small. However, the joint team remained on standby to monitor both in locations around uh, the Pura and in settlements in the area for the coming days. The public is also temporarily not allowed to carry out climbing activities on Mount Agung. Going to be a story about that. Climbing activities have been officially closed since the first due to a number of ceremonies at Pasaki. The smoke building on the slopes of Agung was first observed on Sunday the 13th. A team of six people started moving towards the location on Monday morning, and they joined other volunteers from around the area to create a barrier so that it did not reach residential areas. From the officers monitoring, there were six hot spots at the fire location. The vegetation that was burned was pine, spruce, and shrubs. As I said in the previous video, there were approximately 100 hectares that were burned. However, the fire was on a steep slope, difficult to reach, so extinguishing efforts were difficult. This was 2,000 meters above sea level and it would take approximately four hours to reach the fire point, which is dangerous for human safety. Bali BP, BD, coordinated with BNPB and BMKG to carry out two alternative strategies, namely, wa namely water bombing using helicopters and the application of TMC, weather modification technology. And so, good news there, fires are out on Agung, and good job for the volunteers and the professionals out there doing their job to keep residents in that area safe. And now a couple of stories about people who have died in the ocean, and the reason that I'm talking about this is because people come here and they get into the holiday mode, and they forget that the ocean here can be dangerous. It looks beautiful in a lot of places if you don't have any trash on the, the beach, but there are currents, undercurrents, and there's undertow, and big waves come up suddenly. The ocean can change really quickly. People that are not used to it, well, it's a dangerous thing. You've got to go into a place, wow, like Lovina is one of the things about Lovina is that the water, like today, wow, very flat, very calm. My kids, my grandchild is out playing in it as usual with all the little kids. It's very safe up here. Uh, so if you are out where there are big waves and in areas where there are lifeguards and they tell you not to go, don't go. So let's talk about these two stories. Oh my, wanting to take a fun photo. Indian tourists swept away by waves after falling from Angel's Billabong Cliff, Nusa Panita. And the video of this went viral, and it is scary. An Indian citizen fell from a cliff at Angel's Billabong tourist destination on Wednesday at around 10.45 in the morning. He fell after his body was hit by waves while taking photos at the destination. Head of public relations of the Klum Kung police said the incident began when Muhammad Fajar Bahri and his colleague picked the victim up and drove them to Angel Billabong tourist destination using two cars. Each car had four passengers in it. They arrived at Angel's Billabong around 10.30 in the morning. The group immediately got out of the car and looked for a good spot to take pictures. The victim and the victim's wife chose to take a photo on the edge of a cliff. Never do that. 
the guide was about to take a photo of the victim, the victim's wife, a big wave came crashing into the reef so that splash of water wet the victim and the victim's wife. Seeing the waves coming quite large, Pakarohim asked the victim and the victim's wife to move away from the scene. However, they did not respond to his warning. At that time, a big wave came crashing into the cliff with a big splash, so it hit the victim and his wife. The victim's wife survived, although I saw in a video she was a little bloody. However, the victim was dragged by the splash of the wave and fell from the cliff into the sea. Uh, when this story came out, the body had not been found. They were still be, he was still being searched for. But, update to the story, his body was found over at Nusadua. And this is one of those things with social media. You want to get these photos and you get, don't, never stand on the edge of cliffs. That is so dangerous. So, one tragedy that could have been averted in several different ways. And here's another story about a drowning of a foreigner. And this one is a good Samaritan story. Intending to help, Australian tourists disappears after being swept away by waves on Balian Beach. A foreign national from Australia was lost, swept away by the current at Balian Beach in Tabanan. The victim went missing on Wednesday evening. It was reported that he was dragged away, according to the head of public relations of the Tabanan police. He explained that the incident began when the Australian tourist he, who was staying at Astana Balian Village was out on the beach enjoying the afternoon while he was walking. He suddenly ran towards the beach because he saw another foreign tourist who looked like he was drowning after being swept away by the current. The foreign tourist who was, looked like he was drowning was from Germany. The victim reportedly wanted to help while helping the foreigner from Germany manage to survive, but the victim was swept away by the current. As of yesterday, the body has still not been found. Teams are out searching for him. And so just a warning, there are lovely things to do here. And this is Bali. It's, you know, a wonderful place. I've lived here for 35 years. Lovely place, but you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful uh, traffic. You've got to be careful when you're in the water. And you've got to be careful about pe petty crime on the streets. Always be aware of your surroundings and know what's going on. And if you're going to go into the water, it's always best to have a buddy system. Okay, enough for my safety stuff for the day. I said I was going to talk about Mount Agung and how it's closed. And so let's take a look at that story. There is a ritual until November 30th. There are tourists who stubbornly want to climb Mount Agung. The police and public relations of Pasar Agung Basaki found five foreign nationals who were going to carry out climbing activities amidst the climbing ban that is still in effect. The foreign nationals, he said, were given an understanding that currently the tourist activity of climbing Mount Agung is temporarily prohibited until the 30th of November. So if you are not here and you are planning to come here, one of the things you want to do is climb Agung, not until November 30th. So that is it for today. Thanks for viewing. Be kind to someone. Stay safe. Take care. <laughs> and I will see you next time.